Shalom, brothers and sisters. Israel missiles target Damascus in latest attack on Syria. An Israeli air attack on Syria's capital Damascus left one Syrian soldier with serious injuries and caused material damage, state news agency Sana reported. Syrian air defenses engaged Israel's missiles that were launched at 1.05 a.m. on Wednesday from the Golan Heights and shot down some of them, according to the military source. The Israeli enemy carried out an aerial aggression from the direction of the occupied Golan Heights, targeting several positions southwest of Damascus. The military source did not provide details on the targets of the attack, saying only that the attack severely wounded the soldier and caused damage. The United Kingdom's based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a monitor that relies on a vast network of sources on the ground in Syria, said the Israeli missile attack was aimed at arms depots belonging to pro-Iran fighters and caused a fire. Every time Iran tries to build up in preparation for the Gog Magog war in Syria, which makes the most sense because it's close to the border, Israel, when they find out about it, go in and strike those areas. Unfortunately, these crazy people keep doing it by Damascus, and Damascus keeps getting hammered. And you hear all the watchmen constantly saying, watch Damascus, we get excited when there's a strike on Damascus. Why? And we've quoted Isaiah 17 verse 1, Behold, Damascus will cease to be a city, it will become a heap of ruins. Right, you've heard this as well. It's an end times prophecy of what's going to happen to Damascus. There's a lot of thinking around it. Will it be a nuclear strike? Will it be an Israeli jet with a missile bombing a stockpile at the right moment at the right place that causes a chain reaction? We don't know, but we know we're seeing Damascus fall apart at the seams. Now, if you drill into Damascus, what makes it special and why is it mentioned in the Bible? It is the oldest capital in the world. It is one of the oldest continually inhabited cities in the world. It dates back with archaeology to 8,000 to 10,000 BC. The same place. Chosen as capital of Syria, in, well, of that country, in 661 to 750 AD. In 2019, it was declared the least livable city in global livability ranking because of damage and bombs and civil war. Out of 172 cities of the same ranking, it has a population of 3.8 million right there in Damascus, not accepting or adding in the suburbs and the surrounds of Damascus, just Damascus itself, the oldest city in the world. So... Currently, if you go and Google pictures of Damascus, you'll see it's already, in my opinion, a ruinous heap. But it's going to cease from being a city. So the Bible specifies it's going to get wiped out. So every time we see these things, we get excited because we remember these prophecies and we see these things falling into place. We do, however, pray for the innocents and the people caught on the firing line. But watch prophecy unfold and be amazed at the words jumping off the pages around you. God bless. Keep looking up and keep watching. Shalom.